ahead of the 2023 general election. A coalition of civil society organizations has urged the young people across the country to vote for credible leaders capable of tackling the current challenges deeming the future of Nigeria. The president of the initiative, Green Assembly, made this known on Monday at a press conference in Abuja. He noted that monetary inducements will no longer be accepted from politicians to determine the set of leaders to be voted in come 2023 by the youth. The, youth, the group further urged stakeholders and reputable organizations to join and support the initiative in ensuring the next administration ushers in good governance. The just concluded primaries have given youth young aspirants for the first time in the long time in our political history a level playing field and evidently recorded about 47% increase in youth emergence as candidates and we are hopeful that those of them will eventually sail through in their various political offices. We also want to thank the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for actively participating in the process of the political parties' conventions, which curb the irregularities and malpractices that often characterize such election. Above all, we thank INEC for extending the continuous voters' registration exercise to capture more eligible voters, pledging to deploy more machineries to register Nigerians and continue the awareness campaign to encourage mass participation. We and our affiliate bodies have decided to organize this press conference to intimate the world that, one, we are setting our energies to galvanize other reputable youth organizations across the country to deepen social and political participation to ensure we get it right and prove that we are the drivers of change. Monetary inducement will no longer determine the outcome of elections, but candidates across board that have well articulated capacity development, capacity development initiative and projects for young Nigerians. Two, we will leverage on the passion and undeniable youth revolution to engage and converse for youth across the country to marry the myriads of challenges Nigerians are facing and critically assess the manifestos and visions of candidates at all, in all political parties as it is capable of delivering sustainable prosperity and security to lives and properties in our country. Three, the Nigerian Youth Organization and the Green Assembly and our affiliate other bodies would upon conclusion of this press conference set up a committee to visit and interrogate intentions of presidential candidates, governorship candidates, House of Assembly candidates, Senate, senatorial candidates, towards to have their commitment to visit them and interrogate them in intentions of how they will develop their consistency, pro plans for the education sector, employment, security, agriculture, healthcare, among other important sectors. Finally, after consideration and deliberations, on the 8th of August, as we celebrate the International Youth Day, we will all together endorse a candidate in all strata of, in all strata of uh, compu uh, the, the, the elections who will collectively support and ensure that persons emerge president, the, a very good candidate emerge as president in our country. Also speaking, Joy Asaye, Director of Media Green Assembly Initiative, stressed the need to vote in leaders capable of unifying the country. Point. I'd like to disassociate ourselves with the sentiments that comes with um, Muslim, Muslim, South East and all of that. It is very important that we have a president or a cabinet that unifies this country, that has credentials and vision that will capture everybody in policies, especially the youth constituency that we represent. We would look at the team when they eventually emerge. We will not want to give statement as to uh, pushing forward the decision of a political party or a candidate. We will not want to uh, ensure or insist that they make that decision. That's not particularly where we would want our focus to be today. We would rather want those, the team to emerge and when it does, 
we would now use the whatever team they come up with, whether Muslim, Muslim, to interrogate their intentions, which is what is our main concern.